Hello Internet! Today on Heroes Play we're going to go ahead and play some Zagara. And you can see Robert is going to be playing Murky here. Uh, so Zagara is a specialist from StarCraft. She's a range specialist and she's labeled as diff medium difficulty. Um, and I don't have too much of a problem playing her, but then again I guess I'm probably more advanced. Um, whereas Murky is definitely a more advanced character because you'll think he stinks otherwise. So we're going to play Haunted Minds, which we Venture underground when it opens, we collect skulls, and then depending on how many skulls we get, our golem gets bigger. So, we want to collect more skulls than the enemy during the time period. What specialist usually means in Heroes of the Storm, uh, it's kind of the catch-all of everything else. It's not an assassin, a warrior, or a support character. They can be almost anything. Most of the time it means they're good at lane pushing or taking merc camps, which Zagar is good at both. Zagar also has a lot more damage than some of the other specialists I've noticed. Um, so specialists can often kind of choose make some of the other groups. So her main moves are going to be Baneling Barrage, which is she shoots out Banelings in a line. It hits whoever it hits first and does damage. You Hunter Killer, which charges at a person and attacks him for 8 seconds. We have Infested Drop, which drops area damage, and then two Roach Lanes come out. Battle and she can also do Creep Tumor, which she lays down, spreads over time, uh, she moves faster, and she generates health by on the tumor. Four, or three, on Creep, that is. Two, one. Which you'll see what our Creep Tumor is look like in a second here. I'm going to go ahead and spawn one, two, and three. Um, so our first talents, she can do Bane Travel twice as far before exploding. See, that's her Bailey bus there. Um, I can do her, my roaches last longer if they kill stuff. Uh, Reconstitution, which increases my health regen while I'm on Crete. Or Demolitionist, which destroys the ammo uh, and does more damage destruction. So. so I went ahead and did the Reconstitution so I have more health regen. But I'm usually fighting on Creep, pretty good about Creep spreading. I feel like that's probably what would differentiate really good Zagara's versus the mediocre ones is going to be their creep spread. As you can see, they already took out one of my creep tumors. Really didn't. It just wasn't spread all the way across here. So as time goes on, I wanted to make sure to go ahead and get more of them. See, early on, my um, Bailey bus doesn't seem like it does a whole lot. Now you'll notice up here, uh, Robert dies a lot as. Um, uh, Murky? So that's what's special about Murky. Murky is gonna die a lot. But, uh, he comes back really fast. So, next time he dies, which he just did, you'll see. He comes back, like, in a couple seconds. And that stays the same as long as the he has an egg. No, hey. We will actually go ahead and make a video of Murky in a little bit. See, I'm almost out of mana, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and head back here. Actually, the mines, since the mines are about to open, I'm going to go and head back to camp. Because we're going to want to go down to the mines as soon as it opens in 3, 2, 1. Slay the undead and clean their skulls, heroes. And this is really, um, at least for co-op, a point of where you can tell Choose good players versus bad players is who goes in the mines. A lot of team fights we have to worry about. In fact, because it's team fights and we're going to go in Venom, and I'll go over this town in a second. I want to make sure that I can try to kill the guard. Which is your enemies fall before you. So they did change this map recently where these guys drop twice as many skulls as they did before. So there's half as many of them, so. Two fight up here, I'm gonna try to be involved in. More bones for the mines. Double kill. One gone. And uh, about the USA slain. So we're having a problem because now there's three of them there. And all we know about there is to try to stop them. So the best thing Nova could do would be to try to steal. Here's where I'm coming up. Defeat me a thousand times. I will return. 
Who do you have? 60 of the Rise again, my golems, and unleash your skulls. So our golems are going to be a lot better than theirs. Probably good. Rapid incubation. Alright, let's go back over all talents. This one we could do my basic attacks are uh, have longer range and do more damage over time. Medusa Blade, which uh, allows my basic attack to hit three targets, which is really good on normal non big team fight maps like this. Um, normal, I guess these about half of them are big team fight maps like this. Um, then we have Creep Tumor, which makes my cooldown on Creep a lot faster. Also make it so it doesn't cost any mana. Uh, Venom, which is the one I chose, which is the damage over time. Or Infest, which I can actually increase one of my lane minions damage. Quick charge, but I never really enjoyed that one. Now here, for the talents I just got. Uh, so anyway. So I battle with minimum, which ability, basic abilities increase my cooldowns. Volatile Acid, which makes my Banelies do increase a non -hero, or hero of damage. Infested Drop now spawns three roaching instead of two. And the Creep, Creep spreads faster and farther. And Rapid Incubation, which is like channel two, and get mana back. I almost always choose Rapid Incubation on here because I put my captain head back all the time. Uh, may not be the best choice for me, but it's definitely what I choose. So level 10, I get either get Devouring Maw, which I'll, you'll see in a second, or Nidus Network. Nidus Network is I can drop Nidus Network points all over the map and be able to travel the big screen. See, I was able to drop that thing into each people and basically takes them out of the fight for short periods of time. It does a little bit of damage. I mostly do it to take people out of the fight. And it's pretty big area, so like when they're coming up, I can get a lot of them. So that's the reason I use it. Let's see, this is the reason why I did Wrap Constitution. You saw how low I was on mana. Now I get my mana back too fast. Because I actually have Reconstitution the first talent to get my health back pretty fast when I'm on the So I, don't have to, I usually don't have to come back to turn that off. Enemy Forge Shattered. Let's see, we push pretty far here. There is a bunch of us here, so. As you say. I did see someone come up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to stop them from taking this camp, because that's what looks like they're doing. I see he shoes her ult on me. But Robert got her, so that's nice. So here I can make my Meatless uh, attack farther and fly, or then their attacks bounce, and then I improve spine, which increases the range of damage. Uh, Bile Drop increases the impact damage of my roaches. Uh, Giant Killer, which is increased basic attack damage versus heroes. Uh, or, last one is I can reduce the ability incoming damage. I'm personally going to go ahead and go with my middle S travel farther. It's just my preference. Um, for that, they can fly around. Because then, even if they run behind the base or something, I can still attack them. Increased damage on the hunter kills also pretty good. Are you prepared to fight the undead? The mines shall open. Probably should be able to there. I'm going to have some team fights in a second. Here. Will be complete. Actually, I'm going to see if I can pick up Tychus. Nicar 
Your enemies fall before you. There you go. That was a nice little pickup. See, I'm almost dead though, so. Before I go into the mines, I wanted to grab that. Agreed. We can use some help up here. Go top, I think. We they have not pushed nearly as far as the bar. Yeah, Vala, we understand you want to defend. Doesn't not gonna take all of us with only 25s. Trying to push up here while we were distracted. while I'm on creep, or I can active, have an activated ability that gives me a shield. Uh, usually I go one of the two, first two. Since I did upgrade my Hunter Killer, I'm going to go ahead and increase my Brood though. Though honestly having, doubling my Bane Wings is pretty, it's pretty good. Like, you now have eight Bane Wings instead of four. That doubles the damage of Bane, the Bane Wing Bust, which is a lot of damage anyways. Keep destroyed. I said Zagar can be pretty good assassin. If you get hit people with that, you hit people with that, but mainly bust, it does a lot of damage. As you say. killers um, and her survivability so I hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you for watching bye <laughs>